There will be trauma, confusion. Mothers will abort. And the opening of the graves. And everyone that went into a grave from the day that, they, that this earth was created, from the first human beings to the last, the graves will be opened up and the human beings will come out of the grave as if they were mushrooms. The prophet said that Allah will send on that day after he destroys the earth, after he removes the sky, he will then send clouds, new clouds. And those clouds will have inside of them sperm. And when those clouds open up and drop that sperm, that sperm will hit the earth. And each one of us, the sperm from our father, the same sperm with the same DNA from our father, will come from that cloud and hit the ground. And you and I will come out of that ground like mushrooms. All the way back, God says, to the fingertips. That means with the same fingerprints and the same DNA. The only thing on that day, no one will be able to speak. Wouldn't that be beautiful? No one. No one will cry, no one will complain, no one will lie, no one will exaggerate, no one will blame the other one, because no one will speak. This will only be the beginning of the Day of Judgment. Dear brothers and sisters and seekers after truth, let us ponder for a moment on these words from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and think for a moment about our beginning. And then he says that he created us from dust. Then in the same verses, what does he say? He says, first, we created you from sperm and after sperm made you into a clot of blood clinging to the womb. Now think about that. When was it discovered from a scientific point of view, from an academic point of view, when was it discovered? And now we know from scientific filming, scientific documentation, that the sperm swims. Millions of sperm and only one hits that egg. Then that egg settles in the womb. When it settles in the womb, it germinates. When it germinates and breaks open, it becomes a clot of blood. And then it clings to the womb. Then after that, it starts to hang from the womb. And that hanging part is the umbilical cord. The Quran said that. What does the word Quran mean? Quran means the recital, the reading, the word of Almighty God. That's what Quran means. It is a word sent down from Almighty God upon the heart of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, in the form of a revelation that now is for us a scripture of legislation, making all things clear and detailed for our life. Quran, it's a recital. And that's why when we recite it, when we read it, it is also a recital. And let me just give you just a little bit, just so you can hear it. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan ar-rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Inna lil muttaqina mafaza Hada'ika wa a'naba Wa kawaiba atraba Wa ka'san dihaqa لا يسمعون فيها لغوا ولا كذابا جزاء من ربك عطاء حسابا رب السماوات والأرض وما بينهما الرحمن 
لا يملكون منه خطابا This is the Quran. This is the recital. And another miracle of this Quran that cannot be said for any other book is that if all the Bibles, if all the Talmuds, if all the Hindu scriptures, all the Buddhist scriptures, if all those books were thrown in the ocean, if all those people of those religions agreed, throw them all in the ocean, and then we Muslims, we threw all the Qur'ans in the ocean also. The Qur'an is the only one that in a matter of a day or two would be brought right back because it has been memorized from cover to cover. Now is there anyone here as a human being who doesn't feel themselves subject or obligated to some form of legislation or law? Because if they're not, then I say get on top of this building and just jump off. And see if you can defy or deny the law of gravity. Hold your breath for about 10 minutes and see if you can deny or defy the human capacity and need for oxygen. You cannot. Something even more simple than that. If you have any power over yourself, any power over anything, stop blinking right now. Don't blink. Just don't blink. Just don't think. Stop the thinking processes. Stop the heart from beating. Stop the...